This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by FreeStateProject.org slash Liberty Forum. FreeStateProject.org slash Liberty Forum. I think that, you know, because he testified, I believe, last week, yes. um, and I recall that. I think there's a, a time and a place for everything. Um, I don't want to have somebody smoking marijuana, and I would hope the common sense would, would help with that. I don't think somebody smoking marijuana, you know, on Main Street in my community, that it, I'd want to tolerate that, I have that be the image that I want to portray it in, to our community and, and put in there. So at that point, I would I'd probably arrest him there, or arrest anybody at that point. You know, the you know, if it was some something where you know he was in his home or in his backyard and you know, it wasn't in public view, I'd probably take take the totality of the circumstances into consideration. What I tell people, backing up a little bit, is that this pretty much a law against everything. If we went outside right now. We looked at our cars. If you look at my cruiser, there's probably some inspection violation on that. You know, a light bulb may have gone out on my way over here or something like that. And that's why police officers are given that discretion in courts and, and judges as well. In 67, when Nixon started the war on drugs, the amount of drugs being used has not changed by 1%. And we have made a terrific change in the use of tobacco by education. That's a would you believe question. Yes, that question yes, would you believe that? Um, yes, certainly. You believe it? Uh, well, I, that was a lot of things. I, I believe. Do you believe the drug war has not change the amount of drugs being used by 1% in, in I don't, what, 40 I, years? I, I don't know. I, that's not my, I'm not well, prepared to you're... answer that question. I'm sorry. New Hampshire. I am just walking around. I went to Bank of America to get some cash. Ran across uh, officers, I believe, the one who, one of the officers who arrested me just over a year ago. And I went up to him and said, "How's it going?" Um, and said, "You know, um, offered my hand out for a handshake." And he said, "No thanks," and refused to shake my hand. <laughs> and I'm not quite sure why, but I said, "You sure?" And he's like, it's Food season. I'm like, okay. And I asked him, how are you doing? And he did not respond. And I pretty much got the impression that he didn't want to talk to me. So, I don't know. Nothing really too pressing. Just thought it was an interesting story to tell you all. This is what a New Hampshire Liberty Forum looks like. And this is what you'll look like if you miss it.